Yes, I'm live now. Welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. Do join quickly. Good evening to everyone. And I hope that you are all well by the grace of Almighty and you must be selling in the sea of life by the grace of Almighty. So here I will be covering some PYQ questions of MP set. Okay, I'll be covering some PYQ questions. Was this session till then? It is going to be a very fruitful session and do uh, let me share this link in my telegram channel. Those who have not joined yet, please do join the Telegram channel uh, where you will get the <coughs> updated class. Okay, do join quickly. Let me share this Telegram channel, the link here. Okay, and in this YouTube video here, I'll be covering uh, some important MCQ questions. Okay, some PYQ questions for the upcoming MPCET exam. This is going to be a very fruitful session. Do join quickly. This is going to be a very fruitful session. Okay, so Good evening to everyone. Do join quickly and let me know if everything is okay. And let me see, okay, how many of you are able to okay answer these questions very correctly. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Here I will be covering some PYT questions. Okay, important PYT questions for the upcoming MP set exam. These are also important for any set exam and AG Senate exam. Do join quickly. Do join quickly. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Do join. And those who are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification as well. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so here yeah, I'll be covering more than 30 important MCQ questions like PIQ questions that I have collected okay, from MP Shed exam to the previous questions. I'll be covering all these questions along with explanation over. So here is your first question on your screen. Do Answer in the comment box. Those who have joined, you can answer in the comment box. So here the rhyming scheme of the sex period sonnet is here. The rhyming scheme of the sex period sonnet is here. This one A B B A A B B A C D C D C D. Then A B A B C D C D E F E F G G A B A B B C B C C D C D E E A B A B A B A B A B C A B C. So what is the rhyming scheme of sex period sonnet? These are all. PIQ questions of MP set actually. I have collected those questions. Okay, one B. Yes, let me see. Okay, yeah. Rao is the first one who gave the answer here. Hmm. Okay, got it. Subrangsu, excellent. So yeah, Rao and Subrangsu, uh, Rao and Subrangsu, all of you right actually here. It is the first answer here. A B A B C D C D E A B A and G G. So this one is the right answer. Excellent, everyone here. Excellent. Good evening to everyone. Those who have joined, and here is the explanation. You see that A B A B C D C D E F E F G G. So experience sonnets usually have the rhyme scheme of this one, and this means that the first and the third lines must rhyme, and the second of the fourth and must rhyme. In the next set of four lines, the same pattern is repeated with different rhymes. So yeah, this one is the right. Okay. So what is the basic meter of the following line? You see meter scansion, and the scene of their spears was like stars on the scene. Iambic pentameter trochee, dactyly, dactyl, and and you have anapest. Okay. Scansion or scansion. Okay. Scansion. What is the basic meter of the following line here? What is the basic meter of the following lines here? And scene of their spears was like stars on the sea. Iambic pentameter trochaic meter, dactylic meter, anapestic meter. What would be the right answer here? Yambic, Trochae, Dactyl, and Anapestic. Which one? Okay. Someone is saying Trochae. Okay. Subrang, uh, Subrang Sui is saying Trochae. Trochae, Dactyl, Anapestic. Anyone? Apart from this answer? C. So uh, this is actually this line. Uh, here it is anapestic. Why it is anapestic? Okay, it is anapestic. Why you see here that therefore what is iambic pentameter? That is you have in iambic like here the line follows here anapestic meter which is characterized by two unstressed levels followed by a stressed level. Okay, two unstressed level and followed by a stressed level, isn't it? Two unstressed and stressed. The five uh, yambic actually, you see, unstressed and stressed. 
isn't it? Trochae is stressed and unstressed. Whereas ductile is actually stressed and two unstressed. And the opposite is anapestic. It is two unstressed and one stressed. So here unstressed label, two unstressed label followed by a stressed label. And here is the line you see, two unstressed label. Where is that line here? Okay, here. And the scene of their, so and the mm, scene of their spare here is anapestic letter actually. Anapistic, anapistic. And these lines are actually written by uh, here Lord Byron. Lord Byron, the destruction of Senachery. This is the poem from which poem we find these lines. The destruction of Senachery is a poem by Lord Byron, first published in 1815 in his Hebrew melodies, mm. in which it was titled The Destruction of the Senachery. The poem is based on the biblical account of the historical Assyrian siege of Jerusalem. So here, the destruction of Senachery by, uh, by, by Byron. In that uh, poem we find the lines here that is uh, and the scene of their spears was like stars on the sea. Which of the following is an example of Sinek Doki? Which of the following is an example of Sinek Doki? The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew. Give us the day, our daily bread. A little more than keen and less than kind. A little learning is dangerous thing. Which of the following is an example of Sinek Doki? The fair breach blew, the white foam flew. Give us this day our daily bread, a little more than kin and less than kind. Sinek Doki, example of Sinek Doki. So you see here that uh, this line you can find in Hamlet, okay. Hamlet's fast words to Claudius, but synecdoche is here which one? No idea. It's bread. Bread is actually, okay. Give us this day. Give us this day our daily bread. That is food. Daily bread is representing food of okay, the broader idea here. Okay, food. So give us this day our daily bread is the synecdoche and little more than keen, a less than kind. This is a verbal irony. This is a verbal irony, okay. Play on words, okay. Uh, it was, uh, this line was spoken by Hamlet. Hamlet was addressing to Claudius. Okay. The first words in aside, Hamlet was speaking these lines to Claudius. But here the first example of synecdoche here, the example of synecdoche is give us this day our daily bread. And here is the explanation you see. But a little more than kin and less than king is a verbal irony. So give us this day our daily bread. Synecdoche, what is synecdoche? Synecdoche is a figure of speech in which a part of something is used, a part of something is used to represent the whole or vice versa. Got it? In option B, the phrase our daily bread is an example of synecdoche because bread is used to represent food, isn't it? Bread is used to represent food in general or sustenance, which is part of the broader concept of daily necessities. That's why it's a synecdoche. Got it, everyone? Subram so, everyone, those who are watching. It is synecdoche. Synecdoche is a figure of speech in which part of something is used to represent the whole or vice versa. Okay. A daily bread is example of synecdoche because bread is used to represent food in general or sustenance, which is part of the broader concept of daily necessities. That's why it's a synecdoche. Okay. Got it? I think you have understood. Now the Spencerian stanza at six lines, seven lines, eight lines, nine lines. The Spencerian stanza uh, had been invented by Spencer in Fairy Queen. In Fairy Queen, okay. In Fairy Queen. In Fairy Queen, here hmm, Spencer had invented Spencer and Stanja has six lines, seven lines, eight lines, nine lines. Don't go anywhere. Uh, some important questions are coming also, okay, in the upcoming slides. Okay, the Spencer and Stanja have. Six lines, seven lines, and eight lines. So you have in rhyme royal, you have, isn't it? In rhyme royal, you have seven lines. In Otavarima, you have eight lines. In Spencer and Stanja, you have nine lines. Remember, okay, in rhyme royal, you have seven lines. In Otavarima, you have eight lines. 
In Spain's lens stanza, you have nine lens. Okay. Hmm. Got it, got it. Here, nine lens. Spain's lens stanza have nine lines. Rhyme royal, seven lines. O, Otabarama, eight lines. And Spain's lens, nine lines. Got it. The Spain's lens stanza is a fixed verse form invented by Edmund Spencer for his epic poem called The Fairy Queen. That was first published in 1590. Each stanza contains nine lines in total. Eight lines is iambic pentameter, so eight lines is iambic pentameter, whereas the last one is in single alexandrite. Remember that eight one eight lines are in iambic pentameter, and the last one is in alexandrite, in single alexandrite line in iambic hexameter. Okay, in iambic in iambic hexameter, the last line is alexandrite iambic hexameter. The rhyme scheme here A B A B A A B, okay A B A B B C B C. This one A B A B B C B C C. Hmm. That is A B A B B C B C C. A B A B B C B C. Yeah. A B A B B C B C C. Yeah. That's why. So here, yeah, this is the rhyme scheme of Spencer and Stanza. Eliot spread objective plurality occurs in his essay on metaphysical poets Hamlet, tradition, and the individual talent, and Milton. In which work we find Eliot's essay, uh, Eliot's phrase that is objective plurality. Eliot's phrase objective plurality occurs in his essay. And what is the name of that essay? Let me see how many of you are able to answer these questions correctly. Okay, do answer here. Eliot's phrase objective plurality occurs in his essay on. Objective correlative, is it? No, no. Hmm, hmm. Excellent, Godot. Here, Godot is the one okay, who has given the right answer here. Excellent, excellent. So here, Hamlet, Hamlet and his problem. So okay, objective correlative, yad rakna, thikhe. objective correlative, thikhe. was given in Hamlet and his Hamlet and his problems. So, objective correlative literary theory first set forth by T. S. Eliot in the essay Hamlet and his problems and published in Sacred Wood. Published in Sacred Wood. This is also a work by by T. S. Eliot. The Sacred Wood, Hamlet, Hamlet and his problems. Excellent, everyone. Is there text in this class? Is written by. This is a work by. And again, I am giving a clue. I am giving a clue. He is a reader response critic. He is a reader response critic. He is a reader response critic. Now tell me. Okay, I have given the clue here. Is there a text in this class? This work is written by Paul Rico, John, J. H. Miller, John Hillis Miller, Julia Christie, and Stanley Fish. Now tell me. Now tell me. He is a reader response critic. Is there a text in this class? Is written by here Paul Rico, J. H. Miller, Julia Kristeva, and Stanley Fish. Hmm. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Sonam is the one who gave the answer. Excellent. Gorod here. Gorod also. Okay, excellent. Everyone writes to Brahms also. So here Stanley Fish. Stanley Fish, the reader response critic here. Is there a text in this class? Stanley Fish is the right answer. Excellent, everyone here. Hmm. And J. H. Miller, Paul D. Mann are the disciple of whom? Are the disciple of Deridas? Okay, Deridas, Deridas, American disciple. J. H. Miller, Paul D. Mann and Hardman. Okay, J. H. Miller. These are the disciples of Deridas, American disciple. So Stanley Fish has written there is there a text in this class. The term. Now important question here. Another important question here. The term apocryphal. Apocryphal refers to what is apocryphal? Works wrongly attributed to an author. Minor works of an author. Lost works of an author. Collaborative work done by an author. What is apocryphal? What is apocryphal? What is apocryphal? Apocryphal refers to works wrongly attributed to an author. Minor works of an author, lost works of an author, collaborative work done by an author.
What is apocryphal? Do answer. Do answer. What is apocryphal? Apocryphal. Do answer. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Excellent. So Subhras is the one who gave the answer here. It is wrong. Wax. Wax wrongly attributed to an author is known as apocryphal. Okay. So here, wax wrongly attributed to an author is apocryphal. Wax wrongly attributed to an author. Excellent. And here is the explanation. That apocrypha are writings and statements of doubtful authorship or authenticity. What is apocrypha? Apocrypha is are writings and statements of doubtful authorship or authenticity. Okay. In Christianity, the word apocryphal was first applied to writings which were to be read privately rather than in public context of church services, edifying Christian works which were not considered canonical scripture. In the wake of Protestant Reformation, the word apocrypha came to mean false. But in the wake of Protestant Reformation, the word apocrypha came to mean false, furious, bad, and heretical. By the way, apocrypha writings and statements are doubtful authorship and authenticity. That's why the right answer is wrong. Uh, works wrongly attributed to an author is known as apocryphal. Which of the following is not a feminist writer? Is not a feminist writer. It's not a feminist writer. Okay. It's not a feminist writer. Helen Sixers, Kate Millet, Helen Swalter, Barbara Cartland. Tell me. Which of the following is not a feminist writer? It's not a feminist writer. Do like the session as well. Okay, do like the session as well. Okay. How are you all? Is everything okay, everyone? Okay, everyone got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, which of the following is not a feminist writer? Excellent, it is here. Barbara Cartland. Excellent. All of you right here. Barbara Cartland is actually hmm, romance writer. Historic romance writer. Okay. Historic romance writer. Okay. Barbara Cartland. Here Helen Sixers. Helen Sixers. Kate Millet. Helen Swalter. They are. Hmm, fine. Okay. So who has, who has coined? Uh, that is you have. What is the term that was coined by Helen Swalter? Who has coined gyno criticism? And what is the important work of Kate Millet? And Helen Sixers has also written which work? Tell me. Helen Swalter. Fine, you can say as well. Fine, as well. Fine, fine. So, Helen Swalter has coined which phrase? Who has coined gynocriticism? Gynocriticism was coined by whom? And what is the important work by Helen Sixers? And what is the, okay, yeah. Gynocriticism was coined by Helen Swalter. Excellent, gynocriticism was coined by Helen Six. Uh, that is Helen Swalter. And what is the important work of Kate Millet? The sexual politics. The sexual politics, isn't it? The sexual politics is a work by Kate Millet. Okay? And Helen Sixers, Who has written the lab of Medusa? Who has written the lab of Medusa? Kate Millet, Sexual Politics. Then, hmm. the love of Medusa, or Medusa is by Helen Sixers. Hmm. Kate Millet, Sexual Politics, whereas Helen Sixers has written the love. L A U F love of 
Medusa. ठीक है This is a work by Helen Success, the French writer. Okay, K. Dimlet, Sexual Politics and Helen Success. Blab uh, of Medusa. Yeah, excellent. Excellent good. So here you see that Dame Barbara Cartland is a prolific English contemporary and historical romance novelist. Okay. Here Dame Barbara. Barbara Cartland is a historic romance novelist who published 728 books over 76 years. A Ghost in Monte Carlo. A Ghost in Monte Carlo is a famous novel by Barbara Cartland. It was published in 1951. Okay, Monte Carlo. It was the it was the guest season Monte Carlo had ever known. By the way, A Ghost in Monte Carlo is a work by the historical romance novelist writer Paul Barbara Cartland. Structuralism owes its origin to Lacan, Noam Chomsky, Ferdinand de Saussure, Homi Bhava. Structuralism owes its origin to Jacques Lacan. Okay, everyone, right here. Subramshu as well. Subramshu Godot, everyone. Hmm. Okay, everyone, right. So, course in general linguistics, course in general linguistics was published in course in general linguistics was published in in which year? 1917, 1918, 1919, 1920. Course in general linguistics was published in which year? Structuralism owes its origin to Ferdinand Saussure. Excellent, everyone. Course in general linguistics is a work by Ferdinand Saussure that was published in 1718, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19
America. A Dance of the Forest is a play by Chinua Achebe, famous one. Okay, Paul Swanka, Gloria Naylor, Richard Wright. A Dance of the Forest is a play by Chinua Achebe. Autotelic means automatically the text is itself. Okay, the meaning is with the autotelic means the text will tell you automatically. Then the meaning is within the text. Autotelic. Okay, means the meaning is within the text. Okay, the meaning is within the text. Okay. That's why that's why close reading is that's why close reading is important. Read closely and you will you will be able to understand the meaning. Okay, the meaning uh, meaning is within the text. Okay, tell me. Text is important. Okay. Yeah. So old swing. Everyone write here. Old swing. The dance of the forest is a play by old swing. Excellent. Hmm. Got it. Hmm. Dance of the Forest is one of the most recognized old swing as plays. It was presented at the Nigerian Independence Celebration. So this work was presented at the Nigerian Independence Celebration in 1960. It denigrated the glorious African past and warned Nigerians and all Africans that their in their energies henceforth should be spared trying to avoid repeating the mistakes that have already been. made at the time of its release it was an iconoclastic war that angered many of the elite in soinka's native nigeria politicians were particularly licensed uh, incensed to get soin soinka's persistent portrayal of the post colonial nigerian politics as aimless and corrupt despite the deluge of criticism the play remains an influential work in its soinka espouses a unique vision for new africa one that is able to forge a new identity free from the influence of the european imperialism Okay, it was presented at the Nigerian Independence Celebration in 1960. Old Swaika's Dance of the Forest. Margaret Atwood's Handmaid's Tale is a romantic novel, a dystopian novel, a novel using magic realism, a picaresque novel. Here, Offred, O W L R E D. Offred is the main protagonist of Handmaid's Tale. Okay, the title, Offred, O W L R E D. Okay, Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale is a romantic novel. Dystopian novel, a novel using magic realism, and Picard's novel. Picard is a rogue hero, isn't it? Picard is a excellent, excellent. Borod is the one who gave the answer. Are excellent, excellent, excellent. So here it is a dystopian novel, isn't it? Yeah. So Handmaid's Tale is a dystopian novel. Futuristic setting, futuristic setting. Okay, dystopian novel, Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, the Canadian writer, the Canadian writer, the Canadian writer, the Canadian writer. Okay, Margaret Atwood has written the dystopian novel called Handmaid's Tale. Excellent. So dystopian novel. Here, here offered is the main plot. You see the explanation here. Handmaid's Tale is a futuristic dystopian novel by the Canadian author called Margaret Atwood, published in 1985. And it is set in near future. It is set in near future New England in a patriarchal, white supremacist, totalitarian, theonomic state known as the Republic of Gilead. Republic of Gilead, which was overthrown the, which has overthrown the United States government. Republic of Gilead. Operate is the O W L R A D. Operate is a central character and the narrator and one of the handmaids. Women who are the handmaids. women who are forcibly assigned to produce children for the commanders for the commanders okay, they are assigned to produce children who are ruling class in gilead so in gilead who are who are who are ruling they the commanders were ruling okay. and here one of the handmaids was operated and they were forced they were assigned to produce children for the commanders okay so operated is the handmaids tale operated is the protagonist of that novel handmaids tales Ramaswami, Ramaswami is the central character in Kanta Pura, Serpent in the Rope, the Karen Shakespeare, Comrade Kirillo. Yeah, 
Yes, uh, yesterday probably I had discussed these questions. Okay. Yeah, this was a pre-wipe question. This was these are all with the pre-wipe questions of MP set. Okay. These are all pre-wipe questions of MP set. Excellent, everyone. Shut up. Hmm. The serpent in the room. Excellent. The serpent in the room. Ramos Swami Ji character in serpent in the room. Excellent, everyone, right here. Excellent. Excellent. Shut up. Excellent. Who among the following words are transcendent list? Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Mark Twain, Hawthorne, Theodore Dreiser. Theodore Dreiser. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Mark Twain, Hawthorne, and Theodore Dreiser. Who amongst the who amongst was the uh, who amongst the following was the transcendentalist? Ralph Waldo Emerson, Mark Twain, Hawthorne, and Theodore Dreiser. A special a special badge will be a special badge will be uh, started. Okay, I'll be starting a special batch for GATE exam. Okay, for GATE 2024, a special paid course batch uh, will be launched very soon. Okay, will be launched very soon for the GATE exam. A special batch. Okay, very soon. Yeah, Emerson, Mark Twain, Hawthorne, and Theodore Dreiser. I will launching also GATE. GATE exam का जो है आने वाला है, ठीक है? A special batch for GATE. I have qualified GATE twice, okay? so the experience will definitely help you, all of you. So who amongst the following was a transcendentalist here? I had qualified IIT Kharagpur because IIT Kharagpur and IIT Khan, okay. 21 and 22, okay. So who amongst the following was a transcendentalist here? Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson is the right answer. Ralph Waldo Emerson is the right answer here and here you see who were the transcendentalists? Believe that society and institution particularly organized religion and political parties. Transcendentalists believe that society and its institution particularly organized religion and political parties corrupt the purity of the individual. So which one is corrupting here? The society and the institution is corrupting the purity of the individual. They have faith that people are at their best when truly self-reliant and independent. It is only from such real individuals that true community come from. Who are the major figures here? Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry, Vivian, Henry David Thoreau, Margaret Fuller, and Amos Bonson Alcott. Sometimes Walt Whitman also. Remember, Walt Whitman is also a member of the Transcendentalist group. Okay. Louisa May Alcott, Isnalika has Little Women, Charles Timothy Brooks. These are all important writers. But here, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Margaret Fuller, Amos Bonson Alcott, Louisa May Alcott, and Walt Whitman. Remember Walt Whitman. These are remember. Remember all these okay, important uh, proponents of transcendentalist and American movement. Mm. Celia. Celia is a character, important character in Alice Walker's The Care Purple, The Third Life of Grant Copeland, The Temple of My Families, and Meridian. This is actually a debut novel. This is the debut novel. This is the debut novel. Okay, of that author, The Third Life of Grant Copeland. Probably, probably this is the debut novel here. Celia is a character in Alice Walker's The Color Purple, The Third Life of Grant Copeland. So after uh, qualifying a uh, gate, you can also have your MA, MA as well as as well as PhD, okay, from IITs, okay, and from as well as from some universities as well. If they uh, in their notification, if there is uh, given that those who have qualified gate can be able to. Hmm. Uh, can be able to apply. That would be also a, a dream. So Celia is a character in Alice Walker's Color Purple. Excellent. So Color Purple, Color Purple is a 14 year Celia is a 14 year old boy. 14 year old girl, 14 year old girl, 14 year old girl Celia is a Color Purple here. The third life of Grant Copeland is the debut novel of Alice Walker. The Color Purple is the right answer here. Celia appears there. And here is the explanation. You see the Color Purple is the 1982 epistolary novel. So Color Purple is an epistolary. Remember, it's an epistolary novel. 
the clean version. But by the way, so he had this important work by uh, Anthony Burgess. William Golding is the author of the Coral Island, Lucky Jim, the Inheritance After the Fall. Blue answer. Yeah, it was it was actually it was actually uh, Alex. Alex was the protagonist. Alex. Alex was the protagonist. Okay, Alex. The teenage protagonist Alex narrates his violent exploits and his experience with state authorities intent on reforming him. And the book is partially written in a Russian influenced argot called Natset. Okay. Alex is the main protagonist of this novel, Prog of College. Alex is a 15 year old boy, 15 year old gang leader. Alex is a 15 year old. Okay. Next question. Okay. William Golding is the author. William Golding is the author. Okay. Do answer. Everyone okay. Everyone excellent. Excellent. Now who has written the Coral Island? R. M. Ballantyne. R. M. Ballantyne. R. M. Ballantyne has written. Okay. Ballantyne has written the Coral Island. Whereas after the fall, the play, the play by uh, Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller, probably. Uh, Arthur Miller. Yes, Arthur Miller has written the play after the fall. Lucky Jane is a campus novelist. Okay, there is Kingsley Amis. Kingsley Amis. Kingsley Amis has written Lucky Jane. Whereas the Inheritance is a work by William Golding. Inheritance is a work by William Golding. William Golding has written the Inheritance. After the fall is a play by Arthur Miller. Whereas Coral Island is a work novel by R. M. Ballantyne. Uh, and here Lucky Jane is by the campus novelist Kingsley Amis. Okay. The lucky gene. Okay, and here is the explanation you see the inheritance. The work of prehistoric fiction and the second novel by British author William Gould. Let me drink waters. <clears throat> So why? Here, Inheritance is a work of prehistoric fiction. And here is the second novel by the British author William Golding based on for his novel, The Lord of the Flies. It concerns the extinction of one of the last remaining tribes of Neanderthals at the hands of the most sophisticated homo sapiens. It is published by Favor and Favor. Like Lord of the Flies, the Inheritance began live in the Beast of Wars of School Notebook. Like Lord of the Flies, this is a similarity. This is a similarity between Lord of the Flies and the editors that it began live in Bisa Wordsworth's school notebook. Okay. Golding began the work on the inheritors in the autumn of 1954, mere weeks after the publication of Lord of the Flies. Okay. And Lucky G is a novel by Kingsley Amish, first published in 1954 by the Victor Gullens. It was Amish's first novel and all the 1955 Somerset Mob Award for Fiction. The novel follows the academic and romantic tribulation and the eponymous James Dixon, a Jim Dixon, who is James Dixon is the main protagonist of Lucky Jim, a reluctant history lecturer at an unnamed provincial English university. So who was a history lecturer? And Jim Dixon, a lecturer in a medieval history at a Red Brick University in the English Midlands. So he was a history. Lecture, Jim Dixon, the protagonist, Lucky Jim. Inheritance by William Golding. And the Coral Island is having the subtitle, A Tale of the Pacific Ocean, 1857, is a novel written by Scottish author Aram Ballantyne, one of the first works of juvenile fiction to feature exclusively juvenile heroes. The story relates the adventures of three boys marooned in a South Pacific island, the only survivors of a sea break, a typical Robinson. Uh, so it is actually a typical Robinson uh, genre fiction inspired by Daniel Dickens Robinson Crusoe. And the play here premiered on Broadway. This one you need to know also. But by the way, you don't need to know here. This one that it is a uh, having the subtitle called The Tale of the Pacific Ocean. Okay. And here, next question Who the following playwrights has reworked the material from Hamlet in one of his plays? 
Tom Stoppard, John Whiting, Terence Ratting, and Christopher Fry. Which of the following playwrights has reworked material from Hamlet in one of each plays? Tom Stoppard, John Whiting, Terence Attingham, and Christopher Fry. The right answer is here. The right answer is actually Tom Stoppard, isn't it? Tom Stoppard, Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern. Tom Stoppard is the right answer. Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern. And here is the explanation that Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern are characters in William Shakespeare's tragedy in Hamlet. They are childhood friends of Hamlet, summoned by King Claudius to distract the prince from his apparent madness and, if possible, to ascertain the cause of it. The characters are revived in uh, chapter, uh, that is Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern by by uh, W.S. Gilbert's satire that is called uh, Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern and the Arendt Heroes of Tom Stoppard, Absurdist play. That is the Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern's play of Tom Stoppard, Absurdist play. Rosenkrantz and Guildenstern. Which of the following is not a dystopia? Is not a dystopian novel. Animal Farm, Brave New World, 1984, The Way of All Flesh. The way of all flesh. Which of the following is not a dystopia? Okay, I knew this is actually a tough question. Uh, I was just, I was also surprised by watching Animal Farm match uh, by seeing these questions. So after analyzing these questions, so Brave New World dystopian fiction. Okay, 1984. This is by Aldous Huxley. By Aldous Huxley. Okay. 1984 by that is George Orwell. Okay. In 19, uh, it was published in 1949. Okay. Uh, the Way of All Flesh. Is a work by Samuel Butler. Okay, the Victorian novelist. We have two Butler. Samuel Butler. Here, Samuel Butler is the Victorian novelist. The Victorian novelist. The Victorian novelist. Samuel Butler's work, The Way of Samuel Butler. And this is a semi autobiographical novel. Semi autobiographical novel. Semi autobiographical novel. That's why The Way of Place, the way of place is the right answer. But uh, here, Animal Farm is sometimes is regarded as dystopian novel. In this case, okay, their options are, you see, Brave New World, 1984, and The Way of All Flesh. Uh, here, The Way of All Flesh is the same autobiography. Animal Farm is a beast fable. Okay? Beast fable. It's a beast fable. But if these options are here, uh, maybe this question is wrong, but I have found after research that here the opening line of this novel that all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Okay. This quote in the book Animal Farm written by George Orwell shows that animal farm can be represented as a dystopian society. And some of scholars have also written, uh, they have also written an abstract or any presentation. Okay. As uh, that dystopian novel, mm, Animal Farm is a dystopian novel. So that's why, okay, I am also considering uh, that Animal Farm as a dystopian novel. Okay. But here you see the all place, uh, this one, you see, last one here, probably. Here, here you see, the way of all place, sometimes called Ernest Pontifex or the way of all places semi-autobiographical novel. So if it is a semi-autobiographical novel, 
so it cannot be it cannot be a dystopian novel it cannot be a dystopian novel so you, we have options like we have options like here we have options like animal farm brave new world 1984 so this, if this is a semi autobiographical work then brave new world 1984 and animal farm would be dystopian novel but some have, some are considering animal farm as dystopian novel. that's why in this case animal farm is the also animal farm is also a dystopian novel. okay now animal farm is a beast fable you know that animal farm is a beast fable in the form of satirical allegorical novella by george orwell published in 1941 it tells the story of a group of anthropomorphic farm in animals who rebel against their human farmer hoping to create a society where the animals can be equal free and happy that's why the line here you see that that uh, here is the line all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others okay this famous opening line ultimately the reader is betrayed under the retribution of a pig named called napoleon the pig napoleon the farm ends up in a state as bad as it was before according to orwell animal farm reflects events leading up to russian revolution of 1917 hmm? and then into the stalinist era of soviet union orwell a democratic socialist was a critic of joseph stalin he was criticizing joseph stalin and it of was time to moscow directed stalinism an attitude that was critically shaped by his experience during the barcelona may day conflicts between the pom so this original title so what was the original title of hair animal farm uh, animal farm a fairy story theek okay? hai animal farm a fairy story the original title was animal farm a fairy story but us published it dropped the subtitle when it was published in 1946 so original story was original title was animal farm a fairy story another important was brave new world by this by aldous huxley is a dystopian novel written in 1931 largely set in a futuristic world state whose citizens are environmentally engineered into a uh, into an intelligence based social hierarchy the novel here anticipating huge scientific advances like reproductive technology sleep learning psychological manipulation classical conditioning and that are combined to make a dystopian society which is challenged by the story's protagonist Huxley followed this book with a reassessment in essay from Brave New World revisited, Brave New World revisited, and with his final novel called Island, the Utopian counterpart. Okay, this novel is often compared with George Orwell's 1984, published in 1949. ठीक है? Final novel is Island, the Utopian counterpart. Hmm. And 1984, you know, dystopian science fiction novel. It's a cautionary tale. and here you see orwell is a democratic democratic socialist modeled the authoritarian state in the in the novel on the soviet union in the era of stalinism nazi germany more broadly the novel examines the truth and facts with societies the ways in which they are they can be manipulated the protagonist so who is the protagonist here winston smith winston smith is the protagonist of winston smith is the protagonist of who is who is, who is dystopian novel that is 1984 a diligent mid level worker at the ministry of truth who secretly hates the party and dreams of rebellion mr smith smith gives a forbidden diary he begins a relationship with the colleague called julia and they learn about shadowy resistance group called brotherhood the resistance group called brotherhood how does their contact with the brotherhood turns out to be a party agent and smith is arrested mr smith is arrested here he is subjected to months of psychological manipulation and torture by the ministry of law and is released to once released to once he has come to love big brother and the arms like you see orelian double think thought police thought crime new speak 2 plus 2 equals to 5 these are the terms which are the phrase coined in 1984 this is an example of political and dystopian fiction it is popularized the term orelian as an adjective with many terms used in the novel entering common usage including big brother big brother double thing thought police thought crime new speak 2 plus 2 equals to 5 these are the terms that are coined mm, in that novel parallels have been drawn between the novel such as real life instances of totalitarianism mass surveillance and the violence of freedom expression among the themes okay got it the way of here the way of conflict by Samuel Butler that is Victorian era hypocrisy written between 1873 to 1884 it traces four generation of the pontifex family pontifex family 
Butler dare not to publish it during his lifetime, but when it was published posthumously in 1903, it was accepted as a part of the general reaction against Victorianism. So it was published posthumously in 1903, the way of all place. Next question. Which of the following is a work by Father and Sasu? Easy questions. Tell me. Which of the following is a work by Father and Sasu? Okay, got it. So it was published in 1916. 1916, got it. Course in general language. Excellent, got it. Now, who has written mythologies? Structural anthropology and the elementary. Okay, now tell me who has written mythologies? Who has written structural anthropology and the elementary structure of Kinsey? Who has written? Yesterday I discussed probably. In, in, in the previous video, I discussed. Okay. Mythology, structural anthropology, the elementary structures of kinship. These are the words written by whom? These are the works written by whom? Mythology is by hmm. Mythology is by Rula Bart. By Rula Bart. Rula Bart has written mythologies. Okay. Excellent go excellent go excellent, excellent, excellent. Structural anthropology and elementary structure of kinship. Structural anthropology, Claudi Levi Strauss. Okay? Claudi Levi Strauss. You remember all these aspects. Claudi Levi Strauss has written the works like structural anthropology, the elementary structures of kinship. Kinship. These are the works by Claudi Levi Strauss. Okay? I think we have understood. So, structural anthropology and the elementary structures of kin, elementary Claudi Levi Strauss. Okay, got it, Robin? Yeah, the elementary, huh? Excellent. These are the two works by Claudia Lavistros. Okay. Pro is a book by Pro is a book of poems by whom? Ted Hughes. Okay. Philip Larkin, E. 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 Cummings, E. E. Cummings, and Kingsley Image. Hmm. Pro is a book of poems by Ted Hughes, Philip Larkin, Kingsley Image. Who has written Pro? Excellent Subramsu. Hogrustin. Okay, Hogrustin. Have you read the poem Hogrustin? Hog is okay, holding the power of creation. Okay. Holding the power in his hand to create the world. Hogrustin. Excellent. Ted Hughes. Okay. Who is married to Sylvia Black? So, Pro is a book poem by Ted Hughes. Excellent. Hogrustin. The Hog in the Rain, hmm? important works by Ted Hughes, Hog Roosting. Have you read the poem Hog Roosting? Ted Hughes. Okay, I read the poem to Ted Rock Hog Roosting. Important one, okay. Important poem. Excellent, everyone you should read the poem. So, Crow, from the, Crow is a, from the live of songs of the crowd. Uh, Crow is a poetic sequence with the Ted Hughes, first published in Favor and Favor. Crow from the live is a literary work by Ted Hughes, first published this one, and one of the huge, most important works. Hmm. You should read the poem. You should read the poem. You should read. Augustine is a famous poem. Augustine. Famous poem. He's holding the power of creation in the world. Okay. He is the he is the he is the creator and he is the destroyer. Okay. The cruelty. Okay. So these are uh, these are all questions, okay? These are all questions, okay. Let me uh, have a quick session, okay. Uh, we session for 15 minutes. Okay. I'll be ending here 11:30. Okay, 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, I'll be from quiz session. Okay, last. Chale. The second sex was published in the second sex. The second sex by Ked Millet was published in the second sex was published in 1948, 1949, 1951, 1960, or 1950. 
the second six. The second six by किसने लिखा second six? Second six किसने लिखा है? Okay, got it, got it. Okay, Simon the Beaver, isn't it? Simon the Beaver has written Simon the Beaver, uh, yeah. Hmm. Simon the Beaver has written the second says published in 1949. 1949, excellent. Gender trouble published to gender trouble input and what? Gender trouble published in 1990, 1995, 1993, 1991. So 1949 में क्या हुआ था? 1949 में क्या क्या? 1949 में भी George Orwell का novel, dystopian novel, 1984. 1984 the novel George Orwell का novel, dystopian novel published 1949. उसी साल में second sex published हुआ था, ठीक है? ऐसे याद रखना, ठीक है? Relate करके. Now tell me gender trouble. Now tell me gender trouble by gender trouble by do like the session hmm. excellent 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 here yeah. gender trouble here 1990 excellent Judy the butler 1990 is the right answer. Excellent, 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 excellent. Hmm. excellent. Now tell me Isabel Archer. Isabel Archer. Isabel Archer is the protagonist of which American novel? Hmm. Isabel Archer is the protagonist of which American novel? Do you know? Isabel Archer is the protagonist of Isabel Archer is the protagonist of which novel? Isabel Archer, Gilbert, Gilbert Osman, Gilbert Osman, characters like appear in, in which novel? Death of a Salesman. Okay, any clues? Any clues? Any clues here? Clues here. He has written the same short story by Kusuban Singh. The same short story in novel. Portable lady, Isabel Archer. Excellent, excellent. Isabel Archer, Gilbert Osmond. Here in the portable lady. The portable lady. Excellent, Subransu. The portable lady by Henry James. Hmm. Hmm. The novel. Isabel Archer, Gilbert Osmond appear in that novel. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Hmm. Now tell me, now tell me that alpha of the plow, alpha of the plow, alpha of the plow is this by alpha, the nickname, uh, pseudonym of, of the pen name of one T. S. Eliot. Gardiner, George Gardiner, Samuel Johnson, J.K. Rowling, Alpha of the Plow, hmm. excellent, A.G. Gardiner, Alfred George Gardner, excellent, everyone, excellent, excellent. Okay. Hmm. Willie Loman, Willie Loman, Willie Loman is a character, Willie Loman is a character, Willie Loman is a character in which American novel? 
that is representing the american dream representing american dream will you normally appear seen the turn of the screw turn of the screw tenji williams okay got it tenji williams excellent excellent hmm excellent will you normally the dream yeah excellent deva salesman hmm art will you normally deva salesman deva salesman deva salesman by by arthur miller excellent excellent who has given the thesis called frontier thesis frontier thesis stephen dilbert then you have simas heni frederick jackson Frederick Jackson Turner and you have I A Richards Pontia thesis Hmm. There is the front edge western frontal line. Okay, western frontal line, American. Hmm. So here, yeah, Frederick Jackson Turner. Frederick Jackson Turner, excellent. Frederick Jackson Turner. Hmm. Hmm. Excellent. Frederick Jackson Turner, excellent. Naga Mandala is work by Naga Mandala. Naga Mandala is a play by which Indian writer? Naga Mandala. नाग और नाग मंडला जो भी है नाग मंडला जो भी है छोट नाग मंडला और नाग मंडला जो भी है इज अ प्ले बाई विच इंडियन ड्रामाटिस्ट एक्सलेंट गोर एक्सलेंट ग्रीस कनाट Giris Kanat, excellent. Giris Kanat has written Naga Mandala, excellent, excellent. Baat dur tak jao ye guru, ठीक है? Subram Swad. I wish to look. Okay, बहुत दूर तक जाओगे. You will get the success. ऐसे ही पढ़ते रहो, ऐसे ही कोशिश करते जाओ, ऐसे ही revision करते जाओ, ठीक है? The Falcon is a the Falcon is a play by last one last question okay the Falcon this is a this is the Falcon the Falcon is a play by the lesser known work okay lesser known work lesser known work okay the Falcon is a play by the Falcon is a play by Nowadays I will be covering okay. I nowadays I will be covering MP set because their examination probably in the month of this month okay probably at 24 to 25. So nowadays I will be covering MP set and then I will be starting again AG Senate and WB set. 
but let me cover some questions okay for okay the falcon uh, tenition tenition browning kistnerosity kids the falcon tenison browning kistnerosity kids options are here this is the last one okay, i'll be ending here okay I'll be ending here this is the last question i'll be ending here Uh, very soon I will be launching 10,000 MCQ series as well. Very soon I will be launching 10,000 MCQ series. It is not 10,000 10, uh, MCQ series. It is more than it is more than 10,000 MCQ series. Okay. Okay. Very soon I will be launching 10,000 MCQ series. Okay. Uh, in the month of September. In the month of September. On first September probably. 10,000 MCQ series. Along with 10,000 MCQ series, there will be some PDF as well. Uh, so PDF. So here the falcon is by tenition. 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 Tenition is the falcon. Tenition is the falcon. Okay. Tenitions. T E N N Y. Probably tenition. Okay. Hmm, Tennyson, okay? Tennyson has written the uh, play, then listen on what fell. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good night, everyone. Take care, take care, take care, all of you. And have a good night to everyone. मैं ज्यादा देखो मैं ज्यादा नहीं बोलता हूं कि जैसे कि एक स्टूडेंट हमको आ, मतलब कंटिन्यूअसली वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वाज आर आस्किंग मी दैट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू हैव क्वालिफाइड यूजीसी हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू हैव क्वालिफाइड यूजीसी एंड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू हैव क्वालिफाइड गेट समवन समवन वाज आस्किंग आई डोंट वांट टू टेक हिज नेम एंड अगेन एंड अगेन ही वाज आस्किंग मी सो दैट्स व्हाई ओके आई टोल्ड द डीएस आई हैव क्वालिफाइड यूजीसी एज वेल get as well but i don't want to okay, show anyone but that student okay every day when he comes okay, like every day ask the same questions okay and that's why okay, i had okay i had to tell that yes i have uh, qualified this exam that exam and that exam but i don't uh, have any intention uh, to express okay, to the world that i have qualified these things and that things okay but that student every day he comes and asks the same questions okay and that is how okay i had to uh, say Okay, but I have no intention to express it, but tell the whole world that I have done this thing and that thing. Yes, if you are, if you think that I am capable of teaching you, if you think that I am capable of helping you out, okay, then definitely stay tuned. If you don't think that okay, that I am capable of teaching you, helping you, then you can also watch other channels. There are many channels in the YouTube, okay. There are many channels in the YouTube who are teaching, so I don't. Uh, so you can okay go ahead as well. So I. Mm. Yes, I ignore okay, uh, but <laughs> so look, I am a school teacher. Okay, I am a school teacher. So, uh, so after teaching school and okay, I have some tuition also online classes as well. So, time management करने के बाद जितना time रहता है मैं इधर पीटी में पढ़ता हूँ. इतना pressure रहता है, इतना रहता है. ठीक है. तो yes, I am not a lecturer. I am a school teacher. I have family. So. That's why okay, I am not able to okay, do my PhD. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yes. We are from Kerala. Okay. No, it, it, it's not about. It's not about. It's not about. Uh, It's not about the intelligence, okay.
Iya. Oke. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then let's end. Okay. Okay. Have you have you have you have you completed your conversation? Okay. Then I'll be ending. Okay. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Yes.